Hello, Shell. I don't know what to say. Well, didn't you get my letter? What letter? I wrote just how it's coming. No, I didn't get it. doesn't matter about that. This is brilliant. Can I stay? Do you need to ask? Oh, I've really missed oh, you. I've missed you. <laughs> Welcome home. But does Grant know you're here? Nope. I came straight from the airport. You didn't write to him, then. What do you think? So, what's the news round here? Oh, you know, nothing much changes. Well... That's what I thought when I looked for the windows of the cab. Everything's exactly the same. Mm. So, how's Jeff? He's fine. And I thought it'd be here, actually. We don't spend every night together. And how's Vicky and Mark? They're great. Is he still with? With Ruth, yeah. yeah. Nothing's changed, everything's the same. Well, the thing is, Sharon... Um... How's Grant? Oh, he's hardly likely to tell me, is he? Mm. He seems to be all right. He's got his mum over at the Vic at the moment. Mm, I knew it wouldn't take long to get her feet under the table. <laughs> and Phil and Kathy, how are they? They're married. Good for them. You don't mind? No, I'm pleased. You can't be. I am, Shell. I hope they'll be very happy together. Are you sure you'll be all right down here? Yeah, thanks. No, no. No, no. Was it a big wedding, Shell? No. I wouldn't have minded. No, they, uh... No, they nipped off to a registry office a couple of weeks ago. Didn't tell a soul. Are you sure you don't mind? I really don't. The Mitchells are my past. I want to look ahead, not back. I mean, I'm still only 25. I've got a choice. I can either let myself be dragged down by everything around here, or I can get a life. Which would you choose? Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> yeah, do you remember when we were kids and we used to play at weddings with your grand's dusty old neck curtains around her heads? Yeah. <laughs> we used to take it in turn to be bride and bridesmaid. Mm. We never bother much with bridegrooms, though. Maybe we knew a thing or two back then. Maybe we did. Would you ever get married again? Oh, I don't know. Everyone else seems to. Yeah. I suppose it'd be hard to resist if the right man came along. Yeah. I know. I know. You? I want another kiss. Haven't you had enough? No. <laughs> Come back inside. Right, I've got a living to earn. Come on. Hands off me, woman. <laughs> Hands off me. I've got a living to earn. Oh, go on, then. <laughs> Spoil sport. Morning, Mark. Sharon. You're looking well. Yes, how are you? Is Vicky up? No. Can I go and wake her? Yeah, of course you can. I think I just saw Sharon. You did. Well, she was supposed to be in America. Yeah, she got back late last night. Well, she's staying here? Yeah. How long? Well, I, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks. You don't mind, do you? Oh, of course I don't. Does Grant know she's here? No. Oh, dear. Exactly. That dog wants taking out. I haven't finished your breakfast yet. What are you looking for, anyway? The marmalade. Oh, that covered up there. You moved it? What are we doing with bending down there? Sharon always... We always keep it in the bottom cupboard, all right? Well, Sharon's not here, is she? And that dog definitely wants taking out. Have you moved anything else you'd like to tell me about? Oh, just a few bits and pieces, that's all. Just make yourself at home, Mummy. Thank you, darling, I will. More tea. Vicky, have you done your teeth yet? We're going to be late. Listen, right, maybe take it to school the day. Would you mind? No problem. Oh, brilliant. Vicky, do you hear that, sweetheart? Ruth's going to take you now. Oh, this morning. Yeah. And for me? No, just one for me. So. Typical. What is it? My letter telling Michelle to expect me last night. <laughs> you see the list anywhere? What can I? Shopping list. Is it? What? Washing up liquid, tuna, coffee. Cool. Well, I'll get this lot for you. That's all right. I've got a whole day of doing nothing. The least I can do is help you out with your yeah, shopping. I, I can do it. I thought it was supposed to be in a rush. So I can go to the shops on my way back from work. What's the problem? Leave it to me. Well, I'd like to help. I just think that you should take it easy, that's all. I don't think a walk down Bridge Street's going to tire me out, is it? Well, no. I'm back, Michelle. There's no point pretending any different. If you're sure. Sure. Hey, Sharon! Didn't know you were back. Yeah, last night. Oh, you look great. Well, you're not looking so bad yourself. Good to see you. Thanks. <laughs> all right, Mark. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, not a low Sharon, how are you, Sharon? Just Sharon. No Sharon, how are you? Fine. Please be back. Over the moon. See ya. Bourbons are nice. Hello, Nigel. Sharon. 
Well, that's original. Sorry, coming in. On the other hand, Jamie Dodgers are nice too. Well, uh, this is a surprise. A pleasant one, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Does uh, does Grant? No, I'm back. Yeah. No. Right. Though I expect someone will turn him before long. Hmm? Right. I'll just clean that surface. Well, I've done that small paper so you've got the fast food ads. All oh, right. We don't want to miss this week's deadline on the Gazette. No, all right, thank you. Hey, guess what I've just seen? Who? Uh, Sharon. Oh, she's back, is she? Well, aren't you interested? Yeah, yeah, of course. She looks sort of different, you know, like, really together. She had a fantastic tan. Ian, are you listening to me? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, of course I am. Your mum's not going to like it. Yeah, have a look at this. What? It's the official notice about the cafe being open all night, you know, in case anybody's got any objections. Yeah, so? Well, it's interesting, that's all. Fascinating. <laughs> Take her far. No, Mum. Just don't bring her back till she's done, you know what. Yes, Mum. Just walk around the square, I should. Yes, Mum. <laughs> he really loves that dog. <laughs> See you, Mark. Right, All right, mate. What's up with you? Nothing. You got a problem? No. No, why are you staring at me? No, I'm not. <laughs> well, that's all right then. Come on, Frida. Come on. Women, eh? Yeah, women. Come on, you. Yeah. Come on. All right, don't give me an end. Sharon's back. I just saw her on Bridge Street. I thought you'd want to know. Yeah, well, thanks for telling me. Grant, stop doing that, will you? I saw her. She didn't see me, OK? Well, I knew she'd come crawling back sooner or later. What did Kathy say? No, I ain't told her yet. Why not? Because I thought you'd want to know first. Why? You know why. Look, it ain't going to make any difference to any of us. That's right. We're just going to carry on as we were, right? Yeah. Where you going? I'm carrying on like normal. I've got a pub to run. And what about Sharon? What about her? You all right, Mum? I to apologise, have you? All right, you might have had a bit of a point. Maybe I was a bit jealous of Steve. Yeah, well... Anyway, I don't want to go add into your worries. What worries? I'm Sharon. What about her? She's back. Didn't you know? No, I didn't. Oh, well, um, Cindy bumped into her earlier on. Ian, um, do us a favour, will you look after things here for a while? Yeah, Mum, I can't I'll be fine. I've got to get back, to the I've got to get back, won't we, Lane? Oh, myself. It's about to even. How does she seem? Very well. Blooming. I'm surprised she wanted to come back after what Grant put her through. You sure she's all right? Oh, yeah. She's got a great suntan. She seemed a bit more, I don't know, uh, more relaxed. A bit better than when she went away, anyway. God knows what Grant's going to do when he finds out. What's Grant going to do about what? Ah, oh, nothing. Oh, I thought you might have been talking about Sharon. What about Sharon? Oh, I thought everyone knew, Mum. She's back. So what can I get you, Nudge? You mean you knew she was back and you didn't come and tell me? I was going to tell her. But when? Christmas? Tonight, I suppose. Well, I could have bumped into her by tonight. Yeah, well, I should have mentioned it. So what was she saying? Nothing. Well, you ignored her? No. She ignored you? No. Well, what then? I, uh, I hid behind the shoe stall. I felt a bit stupid. Yeah, I suppose you did. Well, where are you going? I've got a calf to run. I was going to tell you. Well, I hope so, Phil. Because we both know what happened last time you saw Sharon. I forgot to mention it. See ya. Bye. Bye. I think you're crazy doing all this, Richard, you know? Well, I said I'd look after the place for him, didn't I? Anyway, none of my business. No, I like you taking an interest. So what's it like over there? Well, the paintwork's a bit iffy. I reckon there's a lot of damp there as well, but it uh, shouldn't take long to smarten the place up, you know? I still think you're crazy. All right, Kat? No, not really. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just one of those days, eh? Yeah, one of those days. 
think she knows about Sharon yet? Well, if she doesn't, she soon will. Speed word travels around here. Yeah, that's true. Have you seen Sharon yet? No. Are you going to see her? I suppose so. When? Whenever she turns up. Well, I've heard she's staying around Michelle Fowler's place. Yeah, I've heard that too. You could go and see her there. I don't think so. Why not? Because I can wait until she turns up here. There's only one reason why she's come back, and that's because she wants things to be sorted out. Oh. I mean, a wife doesn't leave her husband and then come back again. Not unless she reckons they could have a future together. Yeah, but she ain't come back to Grant, has she? She's come back to Walford. Yes, she's made her move, and that's up to him to make his. Mum, you just got to let him get on with it and sort it out for himself. Only he's not made a move, has he? Why not? I know what's happened. It's obvious, Phil. I've worked it all out. Grant's had an affair. What's that? Crashed out. Jet lag? Probably. Everybody's talking about it down the market. I bet they are. So what do you think you should do about Jeff? I haven't told her yet. What, you tell her everything? Not quite everything. But why not tell her about Jeff? I, I will do, but there's something strange about her, Mark. All this confidence. Well, she seems okay to me. What I mean is, is it real? I mean, she hasn't even told me why she's come back yet. She lives here. Of course she's come back. Yeah, but why now? And why like this? 